U.S. President Joe Biden arrived in Japan on Sunday, following his trip to South Korea. A series of meetings are scheduled during Biden's three-day visit to Japan, including the summit of the Quad Group involving Japan, Australia and India, during which the United States is expected to hustle the Indo-Pacific economic framework. Noman Abdul Majid, a Pakistani economist and CEO of Wixman Global, an economic and development advisory firm, said peace and development can only be achieved by talks and cooperation. Sustainable peace is only possible through sustainable development and sustainable peace is only possible through economic integration. It can be made possible through a multilateralist and through talking to each other. Quad, AUKUS or, or whatever mechanisms are done, if the whole idea of these mechanisms is to undermine the politics and the military capabilities of other nations, then it, they are not going to achieve their purposes. Confrontation, continuous war does not lead anywhere. ASEAN countries have learned through hard experiences that war only leads to devastation. During the Vietnam War and the Cambodian War, we have seen hundreds of thousands of people have died for, for just because of the Cold War politics, just because of the bipolar politics, just because of the superpower politics. Now ASEAN countries do realize that they don't want to be sandwiched between the rivalries of the, of the international powers. The whole idea of taking a neutral approach is not to support any one party, but the whole idea is to ensure that the, 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 that the talks takes place, people start talking to each other. What the US or other major powers need to realize that instead of devastating countries in the name of war or for whatever reason, these smaller countries have to be made partners in trade, politics, dialogue and development so that it is good for the greater good of the humanity.